Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on Obsidian. This is a new series that I'm starting where we'll talk exclusively about the new Obsidian plugins. A lot of plugins are added daily to the Comti plugin store and in this series we'll be handpicking some of the best and some of the most useful plugins that are added recently to the Comti plugin store. So without any delay, let's just dive into the video and explore some of the new Obsidian Comti plugins. The first plugin on our list is Painter. So I'll just go to command palette, go to Comti plugins, go to browser and search for Painter. This plugin allows you to paint text with different colors. What this means is that this plugin allows you to highlight text in the markdown file. So you can install the plugin, go to options, and here are a few settings that you can change. One of the best thing that I loved about this plugin is that it allows you to choose highlight style. You can either choose none, which will look like this, text color, low light, floating, rounded, or realistic highlight. I have just choose here floating, which will do a like underline highlight. Then there's a menu mode, uh, which you can choose either minimal or normal. There are two methods for highlights as well. One is inline styles, another is CSS class. You can see here, inline CSS will keep you from being reliant on external CSS files if you choose to export your nodes, which means the node will not depend on external files even if you choose to export your nodes. Or even when you uninstall the plugin, uh, the highlights will be visible over there. With CSS classes, uh, it is more flexible and easier to customize because it is reliant on the external CSS. So let me show you an example. I have choose the floating style over here. And then here are some highlight colors which are here by default. You can also add a different highlight color. Let's say write red. You can either write a hex code or you can select color from here. Click on save and it will be applied as it will be added over here as a red color. Let me go to a note here. So I can just paint the text or highlight the text by selecting the text and double clicking the selection. And here you have the option to paint. If you click on paint, it will show you all the color options that are available. And I'll choose the red one over here. And I had choose the floating style. So it looks like this. And because I choose the inline CSS style, even if I uninstall the plugin, the highlight will still be visible over here. Let me show you. Let me uninstall or disable the plugin and the highlight is still here, but it does not have the same styling that we selected in the plugins option because we have disabled the plugin. There is another one thing that I want to talk about this plugin that is you can add a hotkey for adding a highlight. So you can go to hotkeys and source for painter over here. And let me create a hotkey for painting red highlight. So I'll just write control R for painting red highlight. And now the highlighting process becomes more seamless. I can just select text and use the hotkey control R and it will automatically highlight the text just like this. So this is the first plugin that I wanted to talk about today. Now let's talk about the second plugin. The second plugin is called checkbox sound. So let me go to settings, go to come to plugins again, checkbox sounds. Uh, this is a simple plugin with a simple function that is it adds a nice completion sound to checkboxes when ticked off. So if you are used to project management or if you are used to task management in Obsidian, this will add a simple satisfying sound upon task completion for your tasks. Once you install the plugin, you have the option to choose a checkbox sound. There are a few options, completed, pop, ting, and catching. So I just like ting sound. So let me show you an example, okay? So I'll just like checkbox and I can just click on it. And that's the simple checkbox sound that looks satisfying. Now the next plugin on our list is Timekeep. Timekeep is a time tracking plugin. So this plugin provides a simple and easy way to track time spent on various tasks. And after tracking, you can export all the track time as a markdown table, CSV, JSON, or PDF for the analysis. This is a simple plugin. If you go to options, here are a few options like PDF export options. You don't need to change any of these. So the way you 
use this plugin is by using a code block. You embed this time tracker using a code block or you can just go to command palette and search for time keep and there's the option to insert the tracker. If you click on it, our tracker will be uh, embedded over here. And then you can just write the name of the task and start tracking. Once you finish tracking, you click on stop option and the task will be added over here, time and duration. Similarly, you can add multiple blocks. These are also editable. If you made a mistake or if you just want to change the start time or end time, then you can edit it easily. And then there are these options to export the data. You can copy it as a markdown, CSV, or save it as a PDF. This is another Obsidian plugin that you might really like. I would really love this plugin if it also had the option to uh, visualize how the time is spent. This is another plugin that you might really love. I would start using the time keep plugin right away if it had the option to visualize how the time is spent or if it had the option to show stats of the spend time or log time. But you can use this plugin as a good time logger even if it does not have that visualization kind of thing. The next plugin on our list is Graph Banner. Simple yet so useful plugin. This is just a spin up of uh, the local graph view. You could embed the local graph view on the sidebars. Like you can go to a command palette and search for graph. Okay, I think I have disabled the graph view. So I'll go to core plugins, enable the graph view and search for graph view. You could open a local graph and you could embed that graph over here. But with this plugin, the local graph will be embedded right inside the node. Let me show you. Here's the plugin, graph banner, install it. It is an obsidian plugin to display a local graph view to the node header. Just like the banner plugin, but instead of showing images, it will show the local graph view. Enable it. And let me just go back and reopen that node. And here you have the local graph view as a header. Simple yet useful if you are using Obsidian for note taking to see connections and links between different nodes. Also, I have recently written a guidebook on how to take smart nodes with a digital Jettelgassen system in Obsidian. If you are interested, I'll provide the link in the description. For the first 30 users, you can use the code FIRST30 in order to get 30% off during checkout. The next plugin that we'll talk about today is called as Templify. Templify is a closed source plugin unlike most of the other Obsidian Gumdi plugins. What this Templify plugin does is it allows your nodes to render in a different layout based on the template that you have selected with this plugin. So how do you use this plugin? You can go to command palette and source for Templify. And there is an option to create a new node using one of the set templates. I'll just create a new Eisenhower method and this is a new node created with the help of Eisenhower matrix template. I can just write some tasks over here because this is used for tasks, right? This plugin is not doing anything new. This is just a rendering the markdown in a, a set format. So if you go to this open in markdown mode, you will see that it's just a markdown file with different sections. And this is the markdown node. And if you go to Templify mode, this will look like this. Remember, this is just for writing. You can just drag and drop these uh, tasks from one section to another section like you would be able to do in other planners. So this is a simple Templify Eisenhower matrix. There are other options as well. Let me go to command palette and source for Templify. Let's say kernel template. And this is what it will look like. You can add nodes over here for kernel template. If you go to the markdown view, it is just a simple markdown file. One thing that I liked about this plugin is that you can embed this Templify node into any other node. You can go to options over here and here you have the option to copy the Templify embed. I copied the Templify embed block from here and just pasted it over here. And now it's embedded into another node. You can see this is the Templify embed block that we copied. And in the preview mode, it will look like this. 
The next plugin in our list is called Power Mode and it's just a simple fun plugin. I don't know why it's not working with my current world so I'll go to another world and search for Power Mode over here. I already have it installed and what this Power Mode plugin does is it makes the boring task of writing in a fun filled game. So I'll just start writing over here and you can see this is a booster over here and the screen is shaking right and once you stop writing the booster will also stop after a certain a time period which you can configure if you just want to add uh, some fun elements into your editor in obsidian then this is a really nice to have plugin uh, you can also configure a lot of options like intensity shake time combo time the effects like do you want particle effect, shapes, confetti, spark, like that. Confetti effect. The next plugin on our list is called tabs. Let me show you what this plugin can do. So, this tab layout in my Obsidian world is created with the help of tabs plugin. So, what this plugin does is it helps to create tabs in order to display related content in a compact and organized way. One of the viewer asked me about how I created this tab layout in this reading list in my previous video. So this is the answer. I also answered there, it was tabs plugin, but here's how it looks. It's the work of tab plugin with data view. I'll go to browse and search for tabs over here. It has over 1100 downloads updated seven days ago. This plugin allows you to insert a tab component in a markdown file. How do you add it? You can just create a tab block and write the name of the tab, then write the content of the tab. Then again, you create a tab block, write the content of that and in the code block. So let me show you. I'll just write tabs, tab, tab one. That's a tab one. This, this is the content of tab one. I can just write tab, tab two. This is the content of tab two. Go to freebie mode, you can see here, we have two tabs, tab one and tab two. And I'll just go over here and tab content. And you can see there's the option to add another tab. I think that's a new feature that's added to the plugin. You can just add new tabs like this. So this is a really cool way to help you organize and show related content or related information in a compact and organized manner. Now the next plugin on our list is called Sheet Plus. Sheet Plus is a plugin that lets you create Excel-like spreadsheets and easily embed them in Markdown. It is developed using the Univer framework, which is open source alternative to Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Google Slides and it supports web worker ensuring high performance while also enabling large scale data processing. So it is uh, really supposed to be fast. Now, how do you create this sheet in Obsidian? You can just go to command palette and search for sheet plus and there's the option to create an Excel file. If you click on it, you will see a new Excel file is created over here. Now you can add data and perform operations just like you would do on a Excel file, one, two, three. Let me just drag it and see if it works or not. Nice. So this is a good alternative if you want to add some data or do data related tasks right into Obsidian without using any other apps. The next plugin on our list is called Task List Kanban. And remember, this is not the same as the Kanban plugin. Kanban is another plugin, one of the most popular Obsidian plugins, right? Task List Kanban is a free and open source Obsidian Compute plugin that imports all your tasks within Obsidian files into a Kanban view. With the popular Kanban plugin, this was not possible. You would have to manually add tasks into the Kanban view. But this plugin makes it seamless to integrate Markdown tasks and Kanban view. This here is how it will look like. We all know how Kanban is, right? So how do you use this plugin? Here's some information on how you can start using Task List Kanban. Uh, you can add a task list Kanban within Obsidian by right clicking on a folder where you want the task list Kanban to appear. Create a new Kanban and your new task list Kanban file has been created. 
let me just go to the root folder i'll just create it on moc and here's the option to create a new kanban okay there are two options to create a new kanban i think one is the popular kanban plugin and the next one is the task list kanban plugin let me just choose the first one this is a kanban layout and this plugin will query through all of the task items that are created in your world and list them here uh, but i think we'll need to uh, do some changes into the settings here's the folder scope option where should we try to find tasks for this kanban you can either choose this folder which means only the task created from the files in this folder will be shown here if you choose every folder all the tasks from your entire world will be shown here now this is displaying all the task items that are created inside my world so there's the option for finished items as well done items then there's the option for uncategorized option for this week next week soon is how is the task label into these different columns this is by using a hashtag whenever you move a task from one column to another column it will apply hashtag marketing campaign is in the column next week this means the marketing campaign task is tagged with the hashtag next week if you go to files you can see here marketing campaign is tagged with the next week i'm really loving this kanban plugin and i might start using it uh, for task management in obsidian i might create a dedicated video on task list kanban so stay tuned uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure you press the bell icon in the settings menu you can configure columns and then you can choose the folder scope i just choose two columns over here and now there are only two columns you can easily move tasks from one column to another column and you can mark them done by moving them to the done section that is all for the first edition of new obsidian plugins i hope you found some valuable plugins that you might want to use in your workflow if you found this video useful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with some cool obsidian related content in the future and also if you want to support me financially you can uh, do so by patreon or buy me a coffee link given in the description thank you for watching have a great time see you again bye bye